Hello, we're going to find out how to put together the original dream chair by Vivere in seven easy steps. This outdoor hanging lounger is designed for backyard comfort and relaxation and is often a conversation piece because it will dress up your backyard. Adequate space will be needed as one chair occupies an area six feet by three and a half feet and reaches seven feet high. It fits well on a deck or patio, in a gazebo or on your lawn. With four legs attached to the base, it offers excellent stability. The original Dream Chair by Vivere comes packaged with a large spun polyester fabric cushion, matching six-point umbrella, and a single pivot lounge chair that attaches to a heavy-duty frame. One, first lay out your parts. There is a cushion and you'll know that you have the original Dream Chair because it comes with a six-point umbrella that is assembled with six fiberglass rods and steel hub and the umbrella fabric. The steel is powder coated, offering protection in the elements. The support frame consists of two large curved steel tubes plus four legs with end caps that act as feet. The seat portion of the chair is comprised of five steel tubes, an acrylic mesh and a small crossbar to hold the mesh tight once assembled. Always double check your box for the following pieces of hardware. Four bolts with plastic triangular heads, three bolts with large round heads, one quick link, two bolts of different lengths, each with a washer and a nut, four small plastic caps, two pieces of black rope, two wrenches, and four rubber sleeves. All of the steel hardware is zinc coated. The two-sided instruction page is included and fully illustrated. Two, slide back the rubber sleeve on the frame and pry out the black plastic packing plugs. These plugs are intended for shipping only and can be discarded. Fit the leg into the frame, lining up the holes, and then screw the bolts into place, tightening down snugly. Slide the rubber sleeve down to cover the joint as it helps keep any rain or moisture out of the frame. Continue to do this for the other three legs. Three, take the other steel curved tube and slide it into the base section. Use the shorter of the two bolts to connect these and tighten using the two wrenches and the nut and washer. Cap the head of the bolt and nut off with the small plastic caps. Four, Assemble the umbrella by taking each fiberglass rod and sliding it into the steel hub. Fit a pocket on the umbrella fabric over the end of the rod and continue to do this until all six rods are in place. The rods will fit quite tight. This is by design to keep adequate pressure on each rod so that they stay in place for the long term. Slide the steel umbrella hub into the small receiving tube on the top of the upper frame. Gently tighten the bolt to ensure the umbrella cannot twist or move in the receiving tube. 5. Your frame is ready, so now we can begin assembling the seat portion. Begin by taking the U-shaped tube and slide it through the pockets of the seat mesh. Then slide the two shorter pieces of steel tubing through the pockets on each side of the mesh and connect these to the U-shaped tube by using the push button. You'll know the steel tubing is connected properly when you can hear the push button pop up into place. Double check this before proceeding with the next piece of steel tubing. Slide the small crossbar horizontally through the top sleeve of the mesh and attach to the frame with two of the bolts with the large round heads. Thread the black rope along each side, starting at the lowest grommet using a knot underneath the mesh. You'll notice that the mesh will relax slightly with use over time and you can tighten these ropes as needed. The rope ends can be tied together behind the top crossbar and the excess rope can be trimmed or bundled together. Six, place the closed S-hook between the tubing and push the second bolt through each tube and then through the eye bolt using both the wrenches. Cover the bolt head and the nut with the small plastic caps. Lift the seat portion and attach the quick link to the eye bolt of the frame. Close the quick link and tighten to ensure the quick link cannot easily be opened. 7. The final step is to attach the cushion with the hoop and loop fasteners. Wrap each side around the steel tubing and connect each strap together. You now have completed the full assembly of the original Dream Chair by Bavir. The original Dream Chair is rated for 265 pounds. The cushion offers 500 hours of UV protection with over 2 inches of foam for extreme comfort. It is most ideal to keep your umbrella and cushion inside when not in use. This will significantly prolong its lifespan. The cushion and umbrella can also be machine washed on a gentle cycle and hung to dry. 
It's also recommended to remove the umbrella when not in use because the weather is unpredictable and this will prevent any potential damage from wind. Replacement cushions and umbrella kits are also available. Hello, we're going to find out how to put together the original dream chair by Vivir in seven easy steps. This outdoor hanging lounger is designed for backyard comfort and relaxation and is often a conversation piece because it will dress up your backyard. Adequate space will be needed as one chair occupies an area six feet by three and a half feet and reaches seven feet high. It fits well on a deck or patio, in a gazebo or on your lawn.